Hi everyone. Tonight we're going to talk about tax identity theft. Now before I get into what to do about it, let's talk about what tax identity theft is. What happens is somebody gets a hold of your social security number, your name, and your date of birth, and basically they file a phony tax return and they usually try to get a refund and they create a phony address and a fake bank account. They get the refund deposited into their fake bank account. They take the money, they disappear, and then you find out about it later when you go to file your tax return. Now this is what usually will happen. You'll go to file your tax return and most people file electronic. So what happens is when the return gets electronically filed, the return will get rejected by the IRS. And they'll usually, when a return gets rejected, there's an error code or a reason code why the return was rejected. And what will happen is, in this case, it will say that it's a duplicate return or that a return has already been filed under your name. Well, if you know you didn't file your return, you know there's usually got to be something wrong. So the best thing to do in this case would be to try to obtain what's called an account transcript and that's uh, something that you can obtain from the IRS and it will list that your name and address and what numbers were put on the return. Now if you get that transcript and let's say there's a totally different address on the return, address that you, an address that you never heard of, that's probably a sign that there's identity theft and the other thing that will happen is there'll be unusual numbers on there There'll, there'll be income that, that usually is totally different from the income that you would normally report. And basically what happened was the person just made up a, like a phony W-2 and an amount and they put it down on the return and they got the refund and they disappeared. So that's what tax identity theft is. Now the next thing I want to go over is what we need to do about it. There's a number of steps that you have to take in order to protect yourself when you're a victim of tax identity theft. The first thing you need to do is you need to, of course, notify the IRS and there are a couple of, there are a couple of uh, agencies that have to be notified as well. First, I would notify the Federal Trade Commission. Uh, you can reach them at 877, let's see what the number is, 877-438-438. Four three three eight, and they'll ask you a series of questions and basically you'll want to put them on alert that somebody has filed a tax return in your name. You also want to notify the Social Security Administration. You can reach them at 800-772-1213. Uh, they can double check and see uh, what's actually been sent in under your name and you want to alert them to the fact that somebody has filed a return under your name so they can be on the lookout as well. Then you also want to notify one of the three credit bureaus. The three major credit bureaus are Equifax, TransUnion, and Experian. I'll give you the number for Equifax and that is 800-525- 6285. Now if you call them and you notify them about this, they'll also notify the other two credit bureaus. So if you call any of the one any of the three credit bureaus, they'll notify the other two. But you need to put them on alert so they can look out on your credit report if they see anything else unusual happening. You got to let them know that there's been some tax identity theft. And it's possible these people might try to do some other identity theft as well, so they need to be on the lookout for, for it. Another thing I would do is I would file a police report. I'd let the police know and put them on alert that uh, somebody falsely filed a fake tax return under your name. They can write up a report, which you can get a copy of. And then last but not least, we need to file with the IRS. There is an affidavit that you can file. It's form one four zero three nine and on that form you put down the fact that you've been a victim of the identity theft and with that form you want to send the police report and a, and you also want to let them know you want to send a cover letter in let them letting them know that you're attaching the affidavit the police report and you also want to attach your actual tax return that you wish to file 
You won't be able to e-file it. You'll have to send it in on paper. And I recommend that you send it in with the affidavit because that area of the IRS will need to get the tax return so that they can process it. And they will do an investigation, and once they realize that somebody else filed a fake return, when they, and, that, and now that they have your real return, they'll process it and then you can get, that way your tax return can get filed. Now unfortunately there's no easy way of dealing with identity theft. It's, it's a pain in the ass unfortunately and it delays things. I mean it will probably take anywhere from three months to a year for your tax return to get properly filed. But there's not really much we can do about it. Once somebody files your return then the only thing you can do is go through these steps. But there is an IRS hotline number Let's see, that would be 800-908-4490. And you can call the IRS from time to time and ask them what the status is. And what will happen is, once you report all this, you'll be assigned a case number. And then you can give them that case number, and they'll be able to let you know how things are progressing. So these are the steps that you want to take against tax identity theft. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video.